and back into the championship conversation with his win at Martinsville last Sunday. Now early today, just past 100 miles in Texas, Jeff Gordon has hit the wall in turn two, running 12th at the time. Across campus, the right side of the car, you see the brake hoses are all coming out from under. That front tire is flat as well, and that's what calls it is. Right to the garage. Now the disaster drill that these teams prepare for goes into effect for Alan Gustafson and his crew. Did road open. Will they come back in? Yes, they were all just in at lap 58. Here they are at lap 74, Doc. That's how important tires are here at Texas Motor Speedway. Jimmy Johnson say I'm still free. Entry tight, landing tight middle. Right side and left side. Tires again, four new tires for Johnson James. Matt Kenseth said no matter what, guys, please don't lose me any more spots. I can't move anywhere on the track. Four tires drop here. Car is a little bit better. They did make another adjustment, Mike. Dale Earnhardt Jr. saying the entry just a little bit too tight. They'll make a track bar adjustment and four tire change on the 88. Okay? Track bar adjustment for Carl Edwards, who just wants his car to stay a little bit longer. He'll uh, not win the race off the road this time. A little strategy being played by a couple of teams. Because that's the right side. Mark Martin's a big winner. going to go from fourth to the race lead. Martin going to come in uh, come in from 17th and come out fourth. And there is the scene as the crew goes to work on Jeff Gordon's car as we look at what happened to the four-time champ. The letters were all rubbed off his left front tire. Like he may have had some contact with another car just prior to this. No brake duct hose is coming out from underneath the car. So third caution of the race and the third place driver in the championship starting today is back in the garage.